You ever have one of those days where everything just seems to not go the way you want it to, and no matter how hard you try, you just wind up feeling defeated and just wanting the day to end? Uh, hey guys, I'm Nobody, and uh, welcome to episode 4 of my Let's Play of Sonic Generations. Oh man, I have had a hell of a time trying to record the audio for this. Oh, it's football season, and unfortunately, the house in which I live in, um, let's just say some of the uh, members are very large football fans, and since my usual day to record a lot of things is Sunday, because, well, like most people, I do happen to have a life during the week. Um, <laughs> I know, hard to believe, because I'm a nerd, but... <laughs> uh God. I digress. I find it very hard to record while there's constantly screaming about how the Steelers are kicking everyone's ass. Even though I am a kind of a football fan. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not that I won't watch football every now and then, you know. It's not me and my dad used to do when I was growing up, but... I am predominantly a nerd first, and I will always put my enjoyment over watching a football game and screaming at the TV whenever things don't go the way I want them to. I would prefer to stream at a video game because at least then I have input and I could say I'm the reason it's not working. <laughs> but with this video we've decided to move into the Dreamcast era and this era contains three different uh, Sonic games and only two of them were actually on the Dreamcast because I'm pretty sure Sonic Heroes was the first uh, Sonic game to go all platform. Um, and since Seaside Hill is the third stage. Yeah, I, can we just call this the GameCube era? Like, I feel like that would make more sense since they all were technically on the GameCube. Ugh. But one of the biggest issues that I'm going to have with um, the Dreamcast era, uh, the classic stages, I do okay with. The uh, modern stages, I do better with. The classic stages, though, you can clearly see I have some issues. Like, I do all right. But nowhere near what I'd like to be. I'd like to at least clear most of these stages within maybe minute 40 seconds. But eh, what are you going to do? 216 is alright for me. I mean, I still get the S rank. Granted, it's not that hard. But so we've cleared up the first section of Speed Highway, and you know what that means. We've colored in the world! Oh, also, I have mostly finished the 100% uh, extra part of the video as I'm recording this. Um, I just have to get all the red rings, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that. Uh, but I did fill in all the color parts of the area, so I'm going to do a run through of that and show you the supersonic skill and all that, but yeah! Speed Highway! So, um, fun fact, I actually just found this pathway this playthrough. I have been playing this game since it came out, and that was the first time I had actually ever come across that pathway. And uh, the only reason I even found out it was there was because I decided to jump once when I um, first exited out, because uh, I had saw that you could uh, homing attack onto the helicopter, even though I'm pretty sure that that's just a, I guess you would call it like a glitch, because you uh, homing attack onto the helicopter later. Um, trying to do that at the beginning of the stage, I noticed that there was a rail there, and I was like, oh, hey, so that's how that works. So you grab onto the helicopter here, and then you drop, and I think you grab onto the helicopter twice, depending on which path you take. But you're going to notice a really big theme with the Dreamcast era. Sonic is running down a lot of different things, like walls and buildings. It seemed to be an interesting thing, was now that you hit verticality, let's stick Sonic into an urban environment, because... Uh, apparently the urban environments from before weren't urban enough. I don't know, Sticking Sonic in 3D lets you do a lot of really fun things like running on walls and getting a lot of interesting perspectives and camera angles, but unfortunately it kind of makes controlling him a little bit of a... It, like I said, it, it ta it's hard to get down how to control Sonic, at least with a level of fluidity in 3D games. Could be worse, but you know. I mean, Sonic Generations was a smash hit. Really, really fun game. Hell, I'm doing a playthrough of it. I love it. Also, um... Uh, 
funny enough, I actually don't have that many fond memories of the first Sonic Adventure. I played it recently, in fact, and all the nostalgia that I had before kind of just vanished. It's kind of sad, really. Uh, great. I guess I might have been in a bad mood, or I might just be getting used to the way 3D Sonic has, but I, I, I felt upset playing the original Sonic because the face models and the talking animations were all really, really weird. <laughs> it looked like a three-year-old ham puppet with Sonic just opening his mouth. Anyway, cutscene. Maybe. Yeah, okay, after we fill in the world, then there's a cutscene. Come on, fill in the world. Fill it in! Okay, now cutscene. Thanks for saving me, Sonic. It was scary in the dark, but I tried to be brave. Hmm. That's pretty weird. Christian Weston Chandler's girlfriend didn't call him Mr. Sonic like she normally does. Uh, I might have to talk with CWC about that one. Oh god, I'm gonna go to hell for that. <clears throat> Yo! Um, anyway, so I decided to run back and show that you can actually talk to all these characters if you decide to in between stages, and you actually get an achievement for talking to all of them. Now, uh, to be clear, I don't know if you get the achievement by talking to all of them with both Classic and Modern Sonic, Sonic but you can do that. And you do get an achievement for it, and sometimes they say some interesting things. Sometimes they'll comment on the rank that you get, or if you still need to get the S rank, they'll give you tips, they'll tell you where the red rings are. It might be worth it if you're a bit stuck and you don't know where to go. But anyway, guys, now it's time to tackle probably the most famous stage in all of 3D Sonic. City Escape! With the remix that I'm not really a fan of. Well, honestly, I'm not a fan of either remix, honestly. This one feels too slow, and a bit too techno for a song that was originally very rock. And I am very much a rock fan, and not a pop, techno, house, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I play guitar. I don't play the keyboard, synthesizer, drum stuff. I play the drums, but not the drum machine. It, it's whatever. I'm not a big fan of techno music. I don't mind this remix, but 10 out of 10 times, if I have the option, I will be listening to the original City Escape. There's no question to ask. That riff, that opening, just... The, me the memories, the nostalgia, oh, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's great. And most Sonic fans probably feel that way, although most Sonic fans probably have differing opinions on how good they think the remix is, but every Sonic fan will probably have nostalgia for City Escape. It was just such a good level. All you need to do is start up with that little guitar, with that little bass riff in the opening. And it's just, oh. It's just, oh. You can't see it, but I'm doing the Italian hand thing. It's just, it's, it's just, it's just amazing. It, it is just Italian hand sign. We need to use that as a vocal description for things. Like, yo man, how was that pizza? Oh man, it was Italian hand sign. Like, that was, that was, that was, that was real Italian hand sign. Like, <laughs> start using that as a description for conversations with people. <laughs> just watch how their face watch how their face turns I have no idea what you're talking about <coughs> or if they meme in their true internet culture heroines they'll, they'll they'll have an idea what you're talking about also I am not going to complain about the fact that the truck just knocked me into the upper levels there's there was no full reason to complain about that I'm a-okay with the truck helping me on my way and with that guys we have finished Act 1 of City Escape, and we're going to jump straight into Act 2 after, you know, I let the scene results come up, and then we wait for the loading screen, and then it's going to bring us back to the hub world, and then the hub world is going to cover in, and then we have to wait for that, then we have to switch to Act 2, and then we have to load into the game, and uh, all these loading screens, come on, it's supposed to be fast, 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 Sonic, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, is there any more cocaine? <laughs> Uh Jeez. There we go. I, I I can enjoy this remix much more, but um I still have a preference for the original. 
Also, the ability to do tricks off of these ramps is surprisingly easier. Um, I wonder if that's by design. Granted, it's all about timing, but you know, timing is not something I'm great at. And oh my god, <laughs> the amount of bullshit <laughs> in what just happened there. Excuse me. Ugh. I had pizza for dinner and now it's coming back. Ugh. Heartburn! I wonder if they re-recorded the voice work or if they just remixed the original voice work. I mean, it could be either if you think about it. They don't sound that dissimilar, but uh, it also could be just the fact that Japanese people don't seem to age at all. So, uh, maybe their voices don't either. <laughs> anyway. Is the lead singer... Is, is, uh, Jun Seo, right? Or something. Dude from Crush 40, isn't he Japanese? I think so. Ah, oh, God, I hope I didn't make a racist joke. Or... Eh, now I feel awkward. Anyway. Yeah, so, um... <laughs> oh, boy. It's a good song, though. I... Just not my type. Compared to the original. It's more my speed, but it's definitely not what I would look for in a Sonic song. I can't even say that. But it's just something about it. We'll call it, uh... I am biased to the original because I heard the original first. I am staring at it with nostalgia beer glasses. <laughs> you stupid trep. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, I was an idiot and I was trying to do this whole race without speed or sidestepping. Um, or not the whole race, but the whole quote-unquote mini boss without sidestepping because I thought that'd be fun and neat. And look at me, I tried to do it, and I got hit. Because I'm not as good as I think I am. Even though I wish I was. But this is a nice little update to the original boss fight from the uh, GameCube and Dreamcast versions. Mostly because of this little bit right here. He is now driving on the wall. <laughs> we have officially crossed into the line of giving no fucks. The truck is driving on the wall. Granted, in a world where blue hedgehogs that stand about three feet tall and look kind of humanized uh, run at the speed of sound, I guess anything's up in the air, right? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just so funny. But anyway, guys, we managed to free boobs the boobs the bat. Yeah, her. Cutscene. That I'm talking over cuz she hasn't said anything say something thanks big blue that's the first time i've ever been stolen hmm anyway guys that was it for episode 4 and before we move on to um the other one i just want to leave it at so Rouge called Sonic Big Blue. Is he talking about him being big or something else? Later.